yeah. regardless of where whichever party the more you continue to poke our eyes the more we unite abducting a former member of parliament organizing for boons is cowardice na sasa watu wa Mount Kenya muangalie kama mtu si wa area yenu anakuja matanga nyinyi ndio askari musi musiekwe uoga na msikubali kununua uoga huyu jamaa lazima aende nyumbani na hata tuuzie uoga we want mwati his wife and his children they want their father and she wants her husband that is it and hatutauziwa uoga simple how to say this that kenya is a constitutional The right to assemble is a constitutional right. The constitution was not given to us by President Ruto. The constitution was given us by God as individuals. This was not even a political rally. It was a political rally. I want to tell you Kenyans that if they can dare arrest an honorable member of parliament, a former honorable member of parliament, Are you surprised today that we have so many sons of our motherlands that have disappeared without trace? We have had people saying that they don't have any records of anyone that has been abducted. While we know we know it very clearly that during the Gen Z demonstrations so many people disappeared and so many have not been seen. We are going to fight this in this uh, this in the courts. We know the judiciary is going to um it is it is it is actually going to to rule according to the law we have a right of habeas corpus to demand and even from this office and not even DCI can stop us from demanding that honorable muadi be released and appealed to his family and so i want to i want to tell all the kenyans that this is, this is not just a cause for honorable muadi this is not even just a cause for mount kenya but this is a cause for the dignity of humanity so that no one will come and arbitrarily take away your rights that are guaranteed by the constitution and so we want to tell everyone that matters from the highest office in the land to the lowest office in the land that this constitution we fought for it for very many years and so we are going to be fighting we are going to be heading to court and we are going to make sure that the rights of the honorable body are respected not just respected but those who are enjoined to ensure that those rights are observed they do their job and they must do it otherwise they leave and we get the right people in this okay. uh, I do uh, I want to remind uh, our president Mr. Ruto to remember very well how we can pay it for him uh, how we stood with him when we are being oppressed by uh, the former regime and all we knew uh, then is that uh, you are going to be the best place ukiwatesa ndio wanakuja wote pamoja na hii resolve unaona saa hii sasa wewe ndio umeshikanisha mlima wacha bila mungu anasema kachebu anashikanisha mlima wewe ruto ndio umeshikanisha mlima bila tumeshikana hatutawachana na tutakutoa asubuhi bila kuwa tunasema tukaumira tena saa hii tutakutoka mapema ndio wewe uende sisi tunakuuliza wapi wale wanakuwa device au wanakaa karibu na wewe ujue audio umekupoteza 
sisi na kina gaza kwa kuzotukua mazako za ukweli sisi ndio kuliku guide mpaka wewe ukachaguliwa sasa wale ambao waliku guide uliwaacha saa hii wewe umepotea kuona vile umepotea na watu wana kutabiri in soil in for the just for the benefit of the media that have just joined us because we have done a statement uh, we came here to the DCR as members of parliament senators most of them who had accompanied the second deputy president regarding a shabwa to your funeral service in Bibirioni the Muru constituency we came here for two things one we are asking the whereabouts of one former MP of the Muru, Honorable Peter Mwati, who was abducted today when the burial was still going on. Today, we witnessed something that nobody has ever imagined. That the second deputy president, where he was seated at the VIP tent, about 200 to 300 goons, who never came from uh, the moon. They were ferried. They came by buses. And we even have videos of them getting money from some uh, those who are organizing. And that's why we had come here. Because we have to look for justice, for one, regarding Ashagwa, our second deputy president, two, the former MP, Peter Mwadi of the moon, and the NCA for Bibirioni, Honorable Mpu. But when we got here, for the first time, the DCI director wants to interview us at the gate. He ha he's asking, what do you want? But we wanted to access the office so that we can give our information, our statement, and he takes notes. When we insisted on getting into his office, he walked away. This is a country that we are living in. That he walked away when the honorable members are here, the people uh, from Kiambu and from all of us. Because we are here, leaders of today, leaders of yesterday, and also leaders of tomorrow. We were here. So my point is, we want to ask the DCI, please, you know you are the Subaru men. Mr. Mwadi was taken by a Subaru. Please return Peter Mwadi to his house. The wife is here. The children are here. And of course, they want their father and their husband back. Lastly, we want to insist, as the Senator of Kiambu, and the MPs who are here, and the Senators who are here, we will not be cowards. We will not stop. We will go. But I ask the people of Mount Kenya, and the people across the country, refuse to be misused to harm a brother. Because today, I saw it with my own eyes. They were trying to assassinate one regarding the They took the metal bus from the tents, they hit his car several times and they were aiming at the left side of the vehicle, the back left, the seat. But that way, he was seated on the right. So today, what we are speaking today, we could be speaking about something different. Today was an assassination attempt for regarding the shadow. And as the president and the security, please, it's not a prayer, it's not a request, it's not a privilege. We want you to give back the security to regarding the Shagwa that you took two days and then you organized goons to attack him today and you tried to kill him today. What a coincidence that you remove the security, then you send goons with metal bars and axes to try to kill regarding the Shagwa. We will pray for him, but we will demand for justice. Thank you very much.